Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome all to our Forty Day service this morning. Um, Forty Day is, um, as Sandra, our chairperson, um, explained. So Forty Day um, celebrates with the enlightenment, the awaken, awakening of Siddhartha Gautama, um, known as the historical Buddha. And today I would um, like to share a story about um, Siddhartha and his di disciple Ananda, um, which is called the fingernail birth of dirt. And um, for following, I would like to um, quote from what's called the threefold refuges. So one day, um, Siddhartha was um, taking a walk with his disciple Ananda. And just then, Siddhartha stopped, stopped his walking, and picked up a handful of dirt and asked his disciple Ananda, which is larger, the dirt I am holding or the dirt on the ground? Obviously, the dirt on the ground is larger, Ananda answered. Then Siddhartha then took a pinch of dirt and then placed it on his fingernail and asked, How about this? Which is larger, the dirt on my fingernail or the dirt on the ground? Ananda answered, Of course, the dirt on the ground is more than that on your fingernail. Siddhartha said, Indeed, the dirt in my hand is to the dirt on the ground what those able to be, to, to be born human is to life in general. The dirt on my fingernail is to the dirt on the ground what those who have encountered the Dharma is to all those born as human. So um, next I would like to uh, quote from the Three Fold Refuges. Um, and the Three Fold Refuges was recited um, by disciples of Siddhartha and begins, Rare is it to receive life in human form, yet now I have received it. Rare is it to hear the Buddha Dharma, yet now I have heard it. Unless I cross this elusive world in the present life, in what life could I possibly cross it? Let us assemble together and take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. So the story I shared, uh, I shared on the fingernail worth of dirt and this uh, threefold refuges, it indicates that it is rare to be born in human life, and even rare to encounter the Dharma, the Buddha's teachings. So we are fortunate to be here today um, to receive it. However. Is it enough just to encounter the Dharma? So one um, fundamental basis of Buddhism is the idea of non-resistance, acceptance, and transformation. And this is the idea that the path of true enlightenment is not to fight against <coughs> the stress and suffering we experience, but try to accept it and transform it into something beneficial. Things outside yourself may seem um, to be the cause of your stress and suffering, but the real source in, in your own mind. For example, um, say, you know, and maybe an older colleague, said something to you about your work and per se, you know, it upsets you. If you resist what is said, um, get mad at that person, the angry you get, the more you lose control and so the more you accumulate your stress. But if, instead of getting mad that you lose control, you pause yourself you're still angry, you know, that's the human nature, but you pause yourself and you try to take in that suffering and the problem 
and accept it, you may see what you can, you know, approve, what, what, what you can do to improve your work, or you may understand that your colleague is just having a bad day. So your anger may transform itself into self-improvement or empathy. So um, the idea of, of no resisting, no resisting can lead to acceptance, and that acceptance can lead to transformation. And this idea um, teaches us that not just the happiness we experience, but also all the inconveniences and all the suffering and problems of life can have great meanings. And when those inconveniences and you know, suffering, stress, and problems um, are taken into yourself, it can be the soil that nurtures peace and compassion that you will come to see in, in yourself. But the fact is, it is still difficult to do that. It's not easy to just accept it. But um, we, have the, we have the rare opportunity to hear this teaching, this Dharma. And the key uh, is that we must listen carefully um, as if the message is for you alone. The Dharma is for you to see and reflect on yourself, not on others. So the Dharma is for you. It's not for others. It's all about for you. Um, the Dharma is directed at each and every one of us, so we must see ourselves in the Dharma. And accepting this attitude towards the Dharma, the Buddha's teaching, can trans transform you over time um, into an individual of great personal strength and a powerful compassion, compassionate acceptance. So this is a great, one of the great teachings that Siddhartha provided for us. Non-resistance, acceptance, and transformation. Please join the classroom. By reciting the name of the Namo Amida Butsu, we are always reminded what makes our life even, even more meaningful. And we are reminded the Dharma in times of need. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu.